Welcome back to Cheers, it's Charles. It's me, Charles. It's February 14, 2016. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, cheers. So, in January, we started vlogging, which was really cool and kind of fun. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed those videos that I made for you. Now that it's February, we're on to a new project. And what exactly is this new project? Well, we're gonna start the wonderful, simple, and uh, manly craft of wood burning. Ooh, It's gonna be my first time as well since I've never done it before. I picked up some items over at Michael's and purchased it. It's quite easy. We'll go over the materials, some tips and tricks that I learned starting out, and then also a short tutorial on how to make a wood burn necklace. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot, so stay tuned and uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, cool. Cheers, let's do this. <laughs> All right, here are the materials. You'll need a wood burning tool, which you can get at a local craft store, a pencil to make your marks, an X Acto knife to cut the wood, these little nibs you'll get with your kit along with this rack so that you can place your hot wood burning tool, some wood, a paintbrush, a chain for the necklace, and then also a ruler to help you make your marks. Oh, yeah, you'll also need some paint of various colors. You'll also need a drill as well as pliers. All right, some tips and tricks. Always change the nibs using pliers, especially when it's hot. Give it a go for each one of these nibs. You'll see that it takes a bit of time to learn how to use them. Some of them are going to change shape and also just the way that it looks depending on the amount of pressure that you apply. Each one of these nibs will have different sizes. Uh, so it's going to help you to understand which ones are great for detailing, such as this pointed nib, and which ones will cover a lot of area, such as this spade slash feather nib. It also allows you to have different shapes, which allows you to create different textures. So this one has a great feathering texture uh, because of the shape. Another tip that I like to give is use a metal ruler to help guide your lines. Uh, it is metal, so make sure that you are not using wood because that will burn the ruler. Okay, so here are the steps for making the DIY wood burn necklace. Uh, it's going to go through really quickly, so stay tuned. First, you're going to make your marks so that we can start cutting with the X-Acto knife the right length for that wooden part of the necklace. Uh, once you make your marks for the design, you're then going to use a wood burner to really burn in those lines in there. Um, what you're going to find is that the chisel tip is really going to help out with those lines. So once you continue with each one of them, you'll see that design really comes alive. Once you have those lines in there, start using the paint that we had earlier and start painting in the different parts. I really love using metallic paint for these. I think it looks really cool and just gives a great contrast for those wooden lines that we're seeing there. Don't forget to add in a pop of color like this turquoise blue there. So what you're going to find is that sometimes you'll paint over the lines. It's really easy to take your wood burner and just really exaggerate those wooden burn lines to create that really cool texture. Just be careful not to burn yourself during this time. And again, we talked about that spade slash feather nib. Um, it's really great as you can see and it covers a lot of space. So it saves you time when you want to burn large areas. In this case, I wanted to burn the sides and the back just to get that really great contrast with the front design. You'll find that when you start burning these large areas, it's gonna start smelling like burned wood, so make sure to open up a window. Next, we're going to just drill a little hole. Uh, this way, we're going to make some space for the metal rings, which we will basically just feed through that tiny hole there. These are a little hard, so pliers are going to be really helpful. I've got kind of hot dog fingers there, so it was a little bit tough for me. But then we just feed through the chain for the necklace, and we got this really great design. I've had some really great feedback from friends once they saw these. I hope that you enjoy this DIY, and I hope that you feel the wood burn!